First, a follow-up to Target 12 Investigators exclusive, Beat the Clock. Watch this, a hidden camera rolling as a school department worker pops open a city time clock, changes the time, and punches several time cards. Today, disbelief from the chief executive of Cranston, Mayor Alan Fung, sitting down as a guest on this week's Newsmakers, watch the investigation and is demanding action. Let's get right to Target 12 Investigator Tim White, live with new information on this investigation. We received a lot of calls and emails from you wondering why the person implicated was given a paid suspension. Well, Superintendent Peter Nero tells me they have made progress in their investigation. The school employee is now suspended without pay, and they are moving to fire him. After watching last night's Target 12 investigation into alleged time clock fraud at a Cranston school, two words from Mayor Alan Fong. Completely outraged. Mayor Fung, a guest on this week's Newsmaker, says discipline is in the school department's hands, but as a former prosecutor, he says he's ordered his police department to pursue criminal charges. And I'm going to urge the maximum punishment for Mr. Emmett and all those others that are uh, involved. In the Target 12 investigation beat the clock, a hidden camera is rolling, looking down at a time clock at the custodial office of the Western Hills Middle School. I'm going to back these out. School officials identify this man as Neil Emmett, a custodial foreman in charge of a seven-man crew. After Emmett removes the shell of the clock, which should be locked, he cranks the clock ahead from roughly 8.35 to about 11 o'clock. He then punches four time cards. It didn't appear as a one-time incident. It appeared as they knew what they were doing. Go, we attempted to question Emmett about the tapes. I got no comment. Well, you look like you're ta uh, changing the time clock there. Why are you doing that? I don't know. I got no comment. You don't know why you're changing the time clock? I've got no comment. The tape was sent to the Target 12 investigators anonymously. School officials believe it was taken by a disgruntled co-worker. After careful review, school officials say they now have a better idea as to when the video may have been shot. You'll notice the room has changed. The refrigerator is gone. The wall's a different color. The superintendent tells Target 12 the room was redone just before January 1st. Considering we discovered the clock was still unlocked just last week, it raises more questions as to how long this has been going on. Questions, of course, still remain. Whose time cards did Mr. Emmett punch and who shot the video? Both the police and the personnel investigation are ongoing. Live with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.